I benefited from the NIHR Clinical Doctoral Research Fellowship and that's a fellowship that offers funding to nurses, midwives and allied health professionals to do a PhD and the wonderful thing about that source of funding is it allows you to do your PhD within a clinical setting. The NIHR funding I received enabled me to complete an MA in research methods at the University of Nottingham. As a result, I've managed to secure a further three years funding from the Medical Research Council, um, which once I've completed will enable me to register for a Doctor of Philosophy in Nursing. I was able to get a full fellowship funding programme and within that um, I'm doing a full-time fellowship over three years so my full salary is covered for a three-year period I will also was given research costs so that includes for example any consumables, any travelling expenses, anything like that um, and also my salary is backfilled so that managed to backfill my role within the trust that I work with and the university Doing research has allowed me to be very innovative with my clinical practice too. And my research involves looking at swallowing in patients who've had a laryngectomy. Um, they've had their larynx removed usually because of cancer. And I have been able to look at a new swallowing tool um, with this patient population. Now, we have used that swallowing tool with other patients who've had swallowing difficulties, but never with laryngectomy. So that's been very stimulating for me to try something new with the patient group that I work with. Clinical academic training has given me a fantastic opportunity to build on many of the clinical skills I already have as a registered nurse. Most importantly, the training has given me a skill set which enables me to not only identify research questions, but consider a variety of methods for answering those questions. This means that potentially the research I'm conducting can now be disseminated at conferences and in journals um, nationally. I think the research from the, the clinical academic um, trainees does benefit patients, it does benefit healthcare professionals. For example, um, part of my research is looking at how GPs can help to manage patients with inflammatory bowel disease in primary care. And we're, all, we're already making steps in that, that I'm going to be in a position to go, out with, to go out to the GPs and start to look at their knowledge base and how we can train the GPs to manage patients with inflammatory bowel disease. But what I've found, because my research is based in a clinical setting, I'm not in a remote research lab somewhere. I'm interacting with patients all the time. And so patients have been involved in my research, not just as subjects in the research, but they've also been involved in focus groups and through that have given me a lot of insights into some of the problems they experience and the impact of laryngectomy um, surgery on quality of life. I would recommend my colleagues to apply for one of these clinical academic training awards. It's been an absolutely fabulous opportunity for me. It's raised my profile, it's opened so many doors and it's going to have a direct impact on patient care. Clinical academic training is an excellent opportunity for any nurse or allied healthcare professional to make a real difference to patient care. The training allows a professional to build upon the clinical skills they already have and conduct high quality research which has the potential to have a positive impact on patient care nationally.